Hello, welcome to the liquid base screencast on testing your liquid base change logs. Remember from the last time that we did this screencast, I was inserting two records into Kim, one a type of bakery and a roll of baker. You can see our liquid base change set ID and author tag there, as well as our rollback SQL. What we want to do is let's first have a look at our data structure for a refresher. Notice that we have our update XML file for our updates and within it we have files listed in our update folder path. Notice that we still have our kit 958 XML file that contains our changes. Before we do any testing we want to tag our database. So let's use Liquibase and set our credentials. We're going to tag the database as before screencast, BSC. That's more than like more than happy to oblige us with that. Now what we want to do is we want to do our update. I'm going to add my changelog file here as update.xml. But before I do an update, I'm going to check out the SQL. This right here does not actually run the SQL. It's just going to show me the output of what SQL it plans to run. You can see that it has our SQL that we want to run and also creates an entry in our database changelog directory to note the change was made. Okay, let's go ahead and run this now. Great, everything was successful. Next thing we want to do is go and verify our data. You can see here that our comment was picked up. Okay, looks like our bakery got in there. Oops, I left the from out. Okay, got our baker as well. Now let's go ahead and, oops, I just realized that I made a mistake. I want this to be patisserie instead of bakery. Oh, but I can't just change that just yet. I need to first roll back. So I'm going to now roll back with Liquibase. Before I roll back, I want to show the SQL that's going to execute, just like I did with an update. Oh, it looks like there was a checksum issue, probably because I went ahead and was editing the change log. I probably left something in there. Liquibase verifies the change log against um, checksum to verify that it's the same change log. That's why it's important not to change your change log file before you do your rollback. Always roll back first before mod using your different change log. So now. I can go ahead and do my rollback SQL again. All right. I can see my two deletes in there, as well as uh, a delete to remove my entry from the database change log. Let's just go ahead and do our rollback. Okay, now we want to verify the data again.
All right, pulled it out. Now I can change this to pastisserie. I want to also affect my rollback. Let's go ahead and run that up. Okay, it ran successfully. Now we go and verify our data again. Our baker's in there. Well, let's check to see if our bakery exists. Nope, no bakery. That's good. Ah, there's our correction. So that was testing data, uh, liquid-based database change logs.